Yahoo! Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to the Aquarian Adepts, my platform, our platform, to become your spiritual server. And welcome to your daily reading for today, Wednesday, August 15th of 2018. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. And what in the world's going on in the astrology today? Well, there's not a lot of things happening in the astrology, so that's why today is going to be more of a growing day with a chance of fire as far as the energy meter goes. We don't have a lot of exact aspects. The moon is still in Libra, naturally will be entering into the third deacon of Libra. But before it does that, it does make a King Kunx over to Neptune retrograde. Now this is, like I said, this is the awkward stare from across the room, so we're trying to find some peace and harmony in our lives right now. But we're also trying to see if the people that we are connecting with are on our same wavelength spiritually. We're trying to see if they're, you know, along on the same path with us. So there may be some people that might not necessarily see eye to us, eye to eye with us, or may not understand our path. So this is when we have to be, you know, we have to be aware of who we are, but also, you know, we have to strike up some level of balance and compromise with others. Um, try and find some middle ground so we can relate to people. It does also make a tough square over to Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. This is going to be an interesting because right after this king comes over the Neptune, which is a little bit more of a softer aspect, the square over to Pluto is really going to be calling the question relationships that may or may not just you know they may need to transform. Honestly, let's just put, let's just put it out there. Pluto is a planet of transformation, death, and rebirth. And when it makes this square over to you know the moon and Libra, we're really going to be asking ourselves if the relationships that we have can stand up to the test of time. If it's just something that's just you know kind of flighting in the moment, or is it something that actually has long term um, implications that it can actually go the distance. So we're really going to be asking ourselves that today. So. I would say just, you know, be wary of that. You know, there definitely could be some tensions. If you happen to be in a romantic relationship, there could be tensions and stuff like that, um, potential arguments. But from what it seems like with the cards I've drawn, it's mostly petty. The other good thing, though, today is that after these tense aspects, we do have the moon, which will be sextiling the sun. So it will be occurring at 22 degrees. And this is powerful. This is actually going to hopefully... Through the instability of the first part of the day, that it kind of seems like it might be, is going to actually bring some surprising stability, you know. Because, um, you know, 2 plus 2 is 4, which is ruled by Uranus and Aquarius energy. And even though it's an instable uh, number, it's also stable at the same time. Think about a chair, how it has four legs and it's able to create some stability. Think about a car, how it typically has four wheels, which brings about some stability. So... Even though it's going to seem like, you know, with the moon and Libra, of course, we're looking for peace and harmony. And, of course, coming off the eclipse, the energies aren't as intense right now. But what's happening is that we are still trying to, you know, we're trying to feel through these um, different changes. We're trying to feel through the changes of what we've, you know, the changes that we've had within ourselves and our relationship to ourselves, relationship to other people. Um, so today, like I said, it's going to be still a growing day, but there's going to be a bit of a chance of fire. Um, and look what we have for the cards today. We have Conception as the Sacred Geometry Activations Oracle, which is the frequency of Conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and that we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. The number is 16. 1 is um, a number of Leo, the sun, and 6 is actually a number of peace, harmony, and um, balance, which is ruled by Libra. So this is actually a perfect card, actually really speaking of this sextile between the sun and the moon right now, how we are, we have to be kind of brought, we need to be brought back into our, to the origin of our being, the source, um, and kind of brought back to that place, and really, it's from that quantum dimension there, that we can really begin to bring forth, and begin to create, and realize that we do have infinite potential, that we are infinitely supported, but sometimes what happens is that, 
we like to create drama in our life, within our mind, right? So, interesting enough, we do have the Five of Wands coming up as the other card as well, which is why I said that we kind of have a chance of fire, you know, with the sextile to the sun, which is in Leo, a fixed fire sign. And then we draw the Five of Wands. But really what I see this as is that there may be some, maybe the discord that you feel is actually between your mind and your heart today. And we have to consider that, you know, the moon, which is going to be in the last deacon of Libra, the last deacon of Libra is ruled by Gemini, which is the mind. So there is going to be this interesting communication between uh, our mind and our heart today and really trying to get them on the same path. Beautiful, though. We do have the stone of the day as Kungzite. And I was going to put this back initially, but then I realized uh, as I was looking more at the energies of the day how perfect the, the stone is. This is a stone of emotion, and in many ways it's called the stone of women. But what this stone actually does is that it's, um, it brings about joy. And it also heals the connection between the mind and the heart. I say the mind up here, but this isn't necessary. We like to put the mind up here, but it, connects the, it um, heals the connection between the mind and the heart. And actually allows us to open up to the infinite possibilities that are around us. It allows us to open up to the miracles in everyday life. Kunzai is a very powerful stone. It's going to help us to drop any type of barriers that we might have placed around our heart and is actually going to allow us to accept that unconditional love. So interesting enough, like I said, with the conception card, remembering um, that we come from source, that we come from infinity, that we are infinity. And when we begin to tap into our authenticity and create from this space, anything is possible. But with the five of wands here, like I said, there's going to be, there might be a bit of discord. There might be some petty arguments and some petty drama. You know, this is Leo season still. So there definitely might be some drama. And like I said, with the moon and that third deacon of Libra, which is ruled by Gemini, there definitely might be some discord between, you know, our thoughts and our heart. And we're looking to heal that connection. There also could be, of course, discord between you and other people. But we have to consider that Gemini is just a co-ruler of that deacon. It's still... Uh, ruled by Venus overall. And look, Venus actually is in Libra, and actually by the end of the day, it'll come into nine degrees of Libra, which is a ending point, but also a beginning point. And nine is ruled by Mars, too. So we're definitely going to be, by the end of the day, wanting to take some type of action. And even though we have all these retrograde planets, we are coming off the eclipses. Energy is going to kind of start speeding up now. Mercury will come direct later. Mars will come direct later on in the month. So we can definitely feel that things are going to start to pick up. Things are not going to be as sluggish. This is really kind of a call from the universe to really embrace the infinity, to embrace our role as co-creator, and to really bring forth that authenticity. That is it for your reading today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you would like a personal reading with me, beloved, you can follow the link in the description below to theaquarianadepts.com. And always remember, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to keep moving forward, to stay focused, and... Yahoo! Smile often. <laughs>